basket stamp. Last thing I'm going to do on this, this pattern, and I'm going to fade it here and fade it down here. So wish me luck because there's not going to be a hard border. But I'm going to use this little tiny basket stamp. I bought this at Tandy one time because it was just little and cute and not very expensive. So I've drawn a guideline. So the way I usually do this is position that where I can kind of see it. I'm going to put it over your side so I can see better. And then put the legs, these little pointy parts here, on the guideline. I'm going to start up here a little ways simply because I'm going to fade as it comes down and right here I want to get a good impression. So now I've done this on the left hand side of the line. I'm going to go to the right hand side of the line leg in leg, other leg on the line, give it a good whack. Oh, it doesn't look very straight. Getting these first ones lined up is kind of a big deal. I think that's... Oh, let's go with it. Oh, that's nice. And I did the right side, same on the left, leg in the leg, other leg on the line, then the other side, so back and forth. That one got a little sideways. Ugh. Ugh. fade this one okay so basically spin this around so I can kind of see where I'm going leg and leg other leg on the line and then fade there now that you have kind of that little train track let's go out to this corner then you just Two legs in the two legs that exist. Move on to the next one. Same. Let me get a heavier maul. When you do geometrics, it's nice to have a heavy maul so you can just one hit. So I just will keep doing that. And fill in this field to the corner and then turn it around this way and fill the field that way. I'll let you see what it looks like when I'm done. So we got the field in. I think the fading looks pretty good. And then up here where your basket stamp goes into your floral work or your other design work, you can put a different kind of backgrounder other than what we used for the bar grounding. So I'm going to use this cheap, cheap tool. It's not expensive. This was actually gifted to me. I don't know what it's called. It's some kind of backgrounder, but it looks kind of cool and things like this. So I'm just going to tip it and I rotate it as I use it. We're just filling the gap between our floral work and the basket. So it looks like there's a, a clean break, but also a fairly natural transition.
and then we kind of fade out. All right. Next would be oiling and dyeing. I'm not sure you're interested in that, but if you think you might be, maybe I'll maybe I'll film that part. Thanks for watching.